All right, boys and girls. April the 8th, 2021. SOL review. More SOL review. All right? You know the drill by now. Uh, copy these down exactly like I have them. Do them. Do your best. Look at yesterday's. Look at the day before if you don't understand. Do your best. And then uh, turn this video back on and see if you did them right. So right now, pause it, stop it, get these written down because I'm getting ready to do it. Alright, if you haven't done it, pause this video, get them written down because I'm getting ready to do the answers. All right? Circle all values equals 210 to the negative 3. That negative 3 tells me I'm looking for stuff with three zeros. Magically, I see this one, and it's got a 1. This is a good answer. Um, this has a 3. No good. 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth would turn into 1 1 thousandth. Three zeros. Good answer. No good because you can't have a negative on the bottom. This is a good answer because this is the same as this. This is a good answer, because this is the same as this. And that's it. Four different ways to write that same number. This way, this way, this way, this way. All right? Next one, we've got an inequality. We want to know which of these numbers could I put in there for x and make it work, right? So first thing we do is solve it. Draw your little short line, right? And get the x by itself, all right? So first thing we do is take away 3 from both sides, right? That leaves us with 2x is greater than 6, right? Um, now we've got to get rid of the 2. So we're going to divide by 2 on both sides. That leaves us with x on this side, 3 on this side. Now this one, are we going to leave the sign alone or flip it? We leave it alone because that 2 is positive, right? So we're looking for answers. We want any number bigger than 3. No, no, yes. Can't be 3. 3 is not an answer. 11 is bigger than 3. 99 is bigger than 3. So there are 5, 11, and 99. We could put any of those numbers there, and that would be the right answer. Right? Remember, inequalities, there's hundreds of that, there's millions of answers. But it's got to be bigger than 3. That's, all those are smaller than 3 or equal to. Right? All right, last but not least, more scientific notation. 17 million. Write it in scientific notation. So we do 17 million. And then we're going to have the decimal there. We're going to move it until we make a number between 1 and 10. That's 1.7 times 10, and how far did we move it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Positive 7. Big number, positive exponent. Little number. I know right now my exponent is going to be negative. Right? we got to move it 1, 2 times. And our new number is 8.02. Got to write it out to the 2. 8.02. We moved it 2 places times negative 2. Little number, negative exponent. Okay? All right, uh, write in standard form. We're going to make a little number. I know it's going to have three zeros. And then write this number, 409. Put the decimal between the first two zeros. I like it when it's negative. Little number, just put that many zeros in front, put the decimal thing. This one, you can't do that. This is a big number. Move the decimal three places. So. The zero takes up one place, the nine takes up a place, and there's one more zero. So 4,090. All right, hope you got them all right. If you didn't, that's okay. We're still practicing. Relax. But uh, appreciate you doing this, and uh, peace out, Girl Scouts.